and Kwila, and welcome down to Fresh Brew. Um, this is, of course, a Chinese New Year special edition. Yeah, as you can see, she's very excited. Yeah. So, taking this opportunity to wish you first and all your loved ones at home. Happy hey. Chinese New Year! Gong Si Fa Chai! Sin and Kwila! Now, of course, today on the show, we're going to have a very, very special guest. We have a designer, an ex musketeer our very own RTM newsreader, and also a specialist in Chinese traditional music. Ah, yes. She'll be playing, doing a performance for us. All this Chinese New Year mm. magic is happening later throughout the show, so wait for that one. But right now, though, of course, something mm -hmm. special is also coming up, Zoe. Yes, yeah, so we're going to throw you guys some Chinese New Year wishes, so let's roll back this VT. Yes, we are definitely feeling the Chinese New Year vibes. This is, of course, the third day of Chinese New Year. Now, I know that you guys are probably at home right now. You are not doing your annual grave visiting, mm -hmm. but it's okay as long as we're staying safe. That is the most important thing this year. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, what you just saw just now was people, you know, sending in their Chinese New wishes to their friends, to their family, and even to you. And right now in the studio, it's going to get a little bit noisy, just like those. Those uh, traditional firecrackers that yep. just goes into the air, blasting away during Chinese New Year. And Zoe, are we ready to welcome our guests? Of course, we are ready to welcome three amazing, amazing people on the show. We have Christy, oh, hi, Ow, and also <laughs> Ivan. Of hi. course, you guys are probably watching Ivan. Hey, what's Ivan doing here? Is he gonna reach you? <laughs> so Ivan, here are your headlines. What's up? <laughs> okay, hi guys. I'm Ivan here, and I'm so happy. To be here. Ah, hey that's nice. That's nice. Carice, say a few words. Oh, hi. My name is Carice. Um, I am very happy to see you guys here on the third day of Chinese New Year. Ah. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Hey, Chrissy, what do you want to say to the audiences at home? <laughs> yeah, I'd, like, I'd like to wish all the audiences at home a prosperous New Year. Money come in non-stop. Oh, yes. Too much money, don't know how to spend. <laughs> Good health. <laughs> say goodbye to COVID and live long. Wow. Uh -huh. yeah. I give you everything. <laughs> We like it, we like it. it. Yes, and of course, you know, this year's Chinese mm -hmm. New Year is uh, very, very quiet, different. Yeah. yeah, very, very quiet for most of us. Mm -hmm. um, I think we can safe to say a year ago, on particularly around this time as well, we were actually able to celebrate Chinese New Year. I was actually back in my hometown celebrating with my friends, with my family, and this year we are, of course, quarantining at home. So I want to know, Christy, how are you celebrating your Chinese New Year this year? Um, a lot of uh, food, mm -hmm. um, a lot of uh, mahjong. You know, I'm, I really love love mahjong. Okay. Ah. You know, just touching the towel, I know what towel it is. Wow. Wow. So I love mahjong. I, 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 I like to, I, I shouldn't, I don't encourage gambling, but gambling is part of Chinese New Year. Yeah, yeah. But we don't, we don't play money. We play loser, uh, wash the plates. Ah, wow. yeah, that's the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's good. Like that. yeah, good. But I don't yeah. play mahjong, I play uno cards. Loser by burger. Oh, okay. oh that's, that's good, that's right? good. Yeah, yeah I, I like to play big four. Chow Tai Di. Chow Tai Di. Chow Tai Di is a must. Mahjong is a must. And of course, we must yam sing. Wow. <laughs> Chinese tea, here you go. Chinese tea. <laughs> Yeah, how do you usually celebrate the Chinese year? What was up two days ago? It's different with last year, you know, mm -hmm. because of the, due to the pandemic. And, you know, TV station, the operation, 3, 6, 5, and 24. So, yeah, yeah we have to work. We are in service line. Mm -hmm. So, just stay in KL. And, you know, they wait for me for dinner, reunion dinner. Yeah, yeah. Working. Yeah. Working. <laughs> yeah. So working, right? But. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But it's okay. As long as, you know, we are out and about safely. Yeah. Um, and we should be grateful that we still have, you know, jobs that are mm -hmm. requiring us to be here all the time. So, for Carice itself, yeah. uh, this will be a very special uh, yeah. Chinese <laughs> Here for you. It's very different. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank she got you. married last year. Oh, so wow. yeah. this Congrats. means yes. she has to give Ampa twice this year. <laughs> it's supposed to be double. Yeah, double. Yeah, very, very different. Uh, last year I was back in Penang with mm -hmm. my parents, and this year I'm celebrating with my husband's side of the family. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's good. Everybody's quarantined, so their kids are quarantined too, so okay. we didn't really have to give Ampa. <laughs> People are asking, you know, you know, at least you can bank transfer. Yeah. <laughs> so at the end of the day, everything is going online these days. Correct, so that's e right? Correct. So Zoe, so let's give her our account numbers after this. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. I just we gave you all the tips. Twice <laughs> the 
the fun, <laughs> twice the impact. Twice. I'll just divide it to two. You know, yeah. the angpa packet into two. So if I'm supposed to give you like 20 ringgit, ah, 10, 10 ringgit lah. <laughs> She is, you know, giving you double the money, right? <laughs> that she's supposed the to. Um, but I actually want to know, Christy, when do you ce usually celebrate your um, Chinese year? Where is your hometown? Um, I, I'm from Kluang, Johor. Mm -hmm. So we usually, we used to, I used to go back, travel back a lot uh, when I was younger. But due to the pandemic, mm -hmm. we have to celebrate in KL. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I love uh, spending uh, time in uh, my hometown with all my all my cousins and, you know, big family. I think that's, that's what Chinese New Year is all about. Mm -hmm. But this year, don't worry, I'll be accompanied with my mahjong and my and my um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah and some netflix this year chinese yeah. new will be a little bit different yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah. yeah everything's going online but all right so ivan where are you from where's uh, your kampong i'm born in para okay. but usually i back to malacca because of my father's side ah okay uh, my mother's uh, side is in Temelo, pahang right yeah there because you, go. you know we can't go back to hometown so i just bought a phone to my grandparents ah right <laughs> you don't call you know it's easier okay. So with that being said, up north, down south, um, the is there any difference when it comes to celebrating Chinese New Year? Uh, nothing much, but you know, I mean, because we have haka, okay. mm -hmm. so oh. the food is quite similar. Uh -uh. Uh. So nothing much. Right. So it's pretty much So you have to ask like Hokkien and Hakka and Cantonese, they got slightly different. Okay, yeah, when it comes no, to I traditions agree, yeah. though. Oh. They're pretty much the same, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Pretty much, yeah. You, how do you celebrate Chinese year? Because uh, <laughs> out of all of us, you are Chinian, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have yeah, a mixture yeah. of, you know, uh, different, different cultures into your uh, the, the, Chinese year the celebration. The best of both worlds, but uh, it's pretty much <laughs> the same. Like, you know, we head on over to my, my hometown in Seremban. So we head on over to Seremban during the eve of Chinese year. The reunion takes place. Mm. And then the next day, the first day of Chinese year, we are all vegetarian. Oh, wow. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> First the Chinese is not vegetarian, man. No, oh, no, no. Bring out the steak, man. What? Yeah, I <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Nowadays, people like to order pun choy, you know. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah, you got abalone, and prawn, abalone and veggie. Abalone is not vegetarian. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, abalone, sorry. I don't have abalone, I think I second day food. I'm not too sure, Zoe, but yeah. It's okay, okay. It's, okay. it's okay. No, but I understand, like, because, um, like, for me, because I'm Chinese Muslim, so there are a few things that, you know, traditionally we don't do. We don't um, go to the temple to pray. Um, it's just the standard coming here. So, um, even, even when we are eating, we have to separate, you know, the halal and the non-halal yeah. just to make sure we cater to everywhere, right? So, um, and Chinese is all about tradition. Mm -hmm. um, there are certain, uh, some traditions that we don't do anymore. Um, I feel like maybe some of us don't practice anymore. Oh, really? Um, so what are some of the traditions that you actually still uphold in your uh, family? Um, firecrackers. Mm -hmm. that, is that a tradition or? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. So the louder, the better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we need to have lion dance come because no lion come, no ong. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we need we need a lot of noise, fireworks. Um, we must bring out. Uh, yeah, food is definitely a, a big must. Yeah. So everything lah, all out lah. <laughs> Cannot finish. We, we, try, we, we don't like to waste, but all out. It's like, eat until your dress cannot zip. Oh, yo. <laughs> oh, that's, the that's the way. That's the way. Is it like, yeah, I mean, you at home as well as Zoe, you eat a lot. I mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> I like, mean, it's the only time you could eat, right? It's I mean, yeah, so just count. eat. Yeah. And especially you as a news reader, how do you still keep shape despite you just, just eating all exercise? the way? Uh, yeah, just exercise? Yeah, exercise. Yeah. Okay. And you know, I'm kind of like... Uh, used to be kind of like superstitious. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will ask Feng Shui Master. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys will ask or not. I will consult him. And you know, one year, uh, last two years, I consult a Feng Shui Master. Okay. Mm -hmm. He asked me to like remove the uh, drop tear mold. Oh, oh, yeah, ah. something like that. You will be below the eye. Yeah, so it, it will bring you like unfortunate or something back. That are uh, bad, okay? And you asked me to change my name. Huh? Oh. His name? Yeah. What? Just, like, did you do it? Good. Yeah. Strokes, uh, you I changed did. your name? Yes. I After how many my years? Two years. <laughs> so what was what was your um? Whoa. So currently what I use my, my stage uh -huh. my stage Chinese uh, Chinese stage name is Tai Jing Hang. Tai Jing Hang. Uh. Mm, so it's different. It's not my actual name. Yeah. Uh. I see, I see. So I think wow. uh, this is one of the culture. Uh, I see. Mm. What, about, what about you, Chris? Have you ever consulted a feng shui master no. or <laughs> you know, never, anybody? I've never changed my name. <laughs> I've never removed the mole. <laughs> I like my moles. <laughs> but uh, 
I guess because we're different, because I grew up in a Christian family. Mm -hmm. So we celebrate Chinese New Year for the tradition, like it's part of our culture, but we put importance in the gathering, celebrating mm -hmm. with family and being together. Mm -hmm. So we don't really, it's like, it's not like we cannot sweep the floor on the first day. We're okay, oh, right? right? We're actually yeah, open. Because right, right, right. that's a big yeah. no-no, right? It's a big no-no. Mm. Like, uh, you can't even wash your hair. Yeah. Mm. But you know, after a full day of yeah. visiting and everything, you're like, I need to wash my hair. <laughs> so we'll actually do it because growing up, we it's the culture and right. it's the being together that is more important than yeah. all the superstition. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. It is, well, yeah, yeah, correct. It is like at the end of the day, um, depending on how your family grew up, right? Mm -hmm. I remember every Chinese New Year, I had to um, bathe with the uh, Mandarin leaves. The wow. yeah, I, I, we, I, I limau, so you know all these leaves and everything. So my grandma, my late grandma, would actually um, gather everything, put it, uh, soak it in the uh, uh, basin. It. Yeah, <laughs> somewhat like do it, love. Do it. That we would have to at least shower ourselves. Wait, wait, wait. This is the first the day of Chinese New Year, is it? This is yeah every. Pre Chinese year, so the reunion, Eve, the reunion dinner, then the, like we'll do it like a couple of days. Yeah, like, I similar was, to Mandi Bunga. Yeah, similar like to Mandi Daun. Mandi Daun. <laughs> yeah. So the idea is to mm. cleanse away the bad juju away I and see. to yeah. So I still don't sweep my door, my house on the first and uh, on pre uh, yeah, Chinese like Eve and the first Chinese year. But then second day, girl, I gotta sweep the floor. I cannot <laughs> just be there taking my tissue and wiping <laughs> everything. Yeah, you can't sweep the floor. You can't break anything. Or well, yeah, right? yeah. Like, at, at least try to tahan for the first two days. Like, then yeah. you want to break, go ahead and break. Like. <laughs> yeah. But it's the same for you, not Christy. Oh, first, uh, yeah. the reunion, heading towards, you know, heading into Chinese New Year. What are some of the things that you do the first day or the first thing in the morning? Okay, um, just like Cl uh, Clarice, I'm also... Besides uh, the mahjong, uh, uh, I, 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 uh, yeah, I, I, uh, we are a Christian family, okay. mm -hmm. so um, but we are very open-minded. But uh, we're a bit more open-minded, lah. That means when it comes to like praying with joystick to our ancestors, because we just want to offend the rest of the relatives. Yeah. If you don't hold the joysticks and pray, it's considered like oh, you betrayed the whole family. Dishonor. Yeah, you bring dishonor. <laughs> so we are a bit more open-minded. We still. You know, uh, when it we still pray uh, with joysticks to our our ancestors or our, our grandparents and stuff like that. Uh, for me, uh, I only see Feng Shui Master when it comes to business. Uh -huh. Right. Uh, other thing, I don't see one. I'm 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 very I I'm I, you want to say I'm a Chinaman? Also yes and also no. <laughs> it's like depend on situation kind of Chinaman. Yeah. Okay. But also uh, last year I consult my Feng Shui Master. She told me northeast of your office must clean until very clean. Must have perfume smell. Then any money can come in. So straight away, everybody clean like crazy. Clean, clean, clean. Put perfume smell, uh, must decorate the place. So there's certain parts of your house or your office that you need to clean and make it smell nice. Mm -hmm. Then only the money will come in. If that spot, if that, that direction is that, that direction is dirty, bye-bye, money don't come in. So that one, I particular. <laughs> <laughs> because I feel it brings no harm cleaning. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but I, yeah, I will do it. I will do it. Yeah. It's but sweep floor first day, I think I will sweep. La. Okay. <laughs> you <should be. laughs> if we vacuum these days. Yeah. <laughs> vacuum. Ivan, what about you, Ivan? You sweep the floor, of course. I don't think so, you do, right? <laughs> okay, so for me, my family, we will like turn on the light Mm -hmm. For three days, three nights, because all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we all oh, wow. the light. Yeah, we, we don't all hold the light. Full blast. They don't care. Even when you sleep. <laughs> Wait, question. Even when you're sleeping. Uh, the, the bedroom light off, but the living yes. room and the porch light all on. Yeah. Uh, it's all right. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so you, you, you turn on the lights. Yeah. The first thing you do, I mean, obviously not the first thing you do lah during the first day of Chinese New Year. So reunion dinner, that's it lah. The light goes on mm. for three days. Yes. Nice. My mine is three days, three nights. Right, 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 right. That's a lot. Of it's energy. over. Yeah, yeah it's over. guys. A uh, lot of. I think you know the electrical company is thanking you right yeah, now. Yeah. But that's okay. It's our target. Yeah. For this, this is our target. Yeah. Ask them to sponsor me. <laughs> What's the electricity? How does it work? I don't know. But, yeah. Yeah, but, but uh, to leave the lights on is auspicious. You okay. need to like, not your bedroom lights, but like the porch, mm. the living room, the staircase, the main areas. It must be well lit. Mm. Okay, the back door, I guess. The back. Of the house, the um, back of the house. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, uh, technically, I, I still own the, my surrounding, my garden area. I own all the lights. Okay, yeah. so give more on, ah, put your plants uh, uh, on the lights, so, uh. And all the neighbors also, <laughs> them all also on together, all also kiasu. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's a fight for who has the brightest well, yeah. and biggest Like Christmas! Yeah. <laughs> it's good because you want away robbers, actually. It's all well lit. Yeah. 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 Because a lot of robberies exactly. happen during Chinese New Year. You see, I mean, it's a good thing at mm. the end of the day, right? Yeah. Um, it somehow or other brings out the unity in this. Your yeah. neighbours, like you just mentioned, you know, mm -hmm. they would do the same thing. And talking about uh, having other people or from another culture having celebrate Chinese New Year with each and every one of mm -hmm. you, you know, do you have them? Of course you do, right? Mm. So, uh, what do you think their ex their experience are like when it comes to celebrating Chinese New Year? Do you think they'd be like, oh, why are we doing this on the first day? You know, 2021, they are still feeling the same way. Mm -hmm. Do you think that you still have these kind of people, friends coming to your place? I have a lot of Malay friends. So, um, they will definitely come to my place because they want the yi sang. <laughs> so, I, 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 a lot of my Malay friends, they love Mandarin oranges and they love yi sang. These two, they were, they were, they they will come and they will sapu all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they live, uh, yeah. So they, 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 a lot of my Malay friends when they first try Chinese food, right? They are really, really uh, amazed mm -hmm. because it's first of all it's difficult to find halal Chinese food. So usually I do take away from hotels. Mm -hmm. Usually my yisang I will take away from one more hotel because it's halal because mm -hmm. I've got a lot of uh, a lot of Malay guests, but they love it so much, and I love it too. But but <laughs> uh, but it's really like uh, especially for my my colleagues. A lot of them, uh, when they when they when they come when we work together, that's their first time tasting Chinese food. Oh wow! Oh, wow. Yeah, a lot a lot of them. Yeah, surprisingly, because they always think that uh, Chinese food is uh, not halal, but there are a lot of Chinese halal food in uh, hotels. Hotels yeah. are very good ones, especially one world. So um, yeah, I, I I take away and um, they love it, and they say, wow, I didn't know that baking duck can taste like that. Mm -hmm. yeah, they love it. Oh. Yeah. So there is is a really a gastronomic experience for my Malay friends when they when they visit me during mm -hmm. Chinese. We give them. The Best. All the nice <laughs> stuff. That's best. Yeah, yeah that's no, nice. I, I definitely agree because like growing yeah. up in, in, in Sabah, right? I'm uh. so used to the multicultural part that we have. Uh. You can even go down to the Kopitam, you don't have to worry about you know whether whether or not you're being yeah. uh, uh, halal or, yes. or not because it's just within our culture. And then when I moved here, mm. yes. I realized people are very more conscious about yes. where they eat, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. you know, whether or not the, uh, the, the food served is halal. So yeah. I actually had a big craving for Chinese food when I first moved here but now it's all okay. Um, I actually want to know from Ivan, so we we're talking about like, you know, uh, uh, um, things that, you know, you find... Um, okay, in a okay. sense of yeah. doing it during Chinese New Year. Yes, things are like suspicious, uh, not suspicious. What's that word I'm looking I, for? I, 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 wouldn't, I don't even want to say myth, you know? Yeah. You know, yeah, uh, superstition. Like, like uh, superstition, yeah, yeah. Pantalara and all that. So you actually talked about get, meeting, uh, you know... A feng shui master. A feng shui master. So last year, I met a... a Tarot card reader, right? Um, have you actually consulted with your function master in regards of you know business in terms of work, um, other things that are not personal? Yes, about mostly it's about work, mm -hmm. but my mom is more focused on love. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there we go. You know the aunties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Really. Family, you will face it. Uh, yeah. Aunties are like, hey, when you want to get a boyfriend or girlfriend, mm -hmm. something like that, a baby or what. So, but mine is when I consult a feng shui, feng shui master, I will just focus on my business or work, mm -hmm. my career, mm -hmm. something like that. I mm -hmm. see, I see. Also, just as that. The main thing is business, work, and career, like that is right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's why I changed my name because if that <laughs> give my lot uh, something good to me, okay, fine, I change. Then I I got offer uh -huh. to read news. Okay, yeah, after a few months. That's wow. Wow. Wait, yeah. you mean okay, this we... happened before news reading? <laughs> yes. It, oh. Yeah. Wow. So, okay, so we... I changed my name. <laughs> The most important thing is um, you have to know that you can't get uh, any achievement okay. without hard work. Okay. So you cannot just uh, rely on feng shui because feng shui is not everything. Mm -hmm. So you also have to like pay your hard work on everything. Yeah, okay. I need you to recommend yeah. me that feng shui master. <laughs> You gotta connect them right now, guys. Yeah. You, have to queue up, you, know? you have to queue up, huh? Yeah. But now I've got online already, huh? no, no you appointment. Just wait at home. You cannot make yeah, appointment. Yeah, yeah, I have yeah. to queue up. Oh, you still have to queue up. You have to meet face to face, huh? Yes. Oh, yeah. So they no, can, this year. They can read better, right? Oh, really? Yeah. Zoom cannot, huh? I <laughs> show them around my house. Yeah, okay, ah. Uh. Yeah, just bring the phone yeah. around or follow around. Okay, Harris, you yeah. know, when it comes to um, probably even uh, feng shui, you know, yeah. all these kind of masters, <laughs> right? Um, if let's say there's one thing that. Um, you would say that you don't really want to listen to or 
Oh, you have your own belief when it comes to Chinese New Year. What would that be? I I guess I'm not a feng shui girl. Okay. Like for me, because growing up again in a Christian family, I wasn't allowed to even read um, what do you call that? Your star sign, you know? Uh, okay. Yeah, your horoscope. horoscopes, yeah. things like that. Because what we believe is, you know, God is in control mm. of all this, all aspects of your life, your career, your personal life, your family. So we are more like, okay, we have to just trust that. Okay. And mm. that is that. And uh, when it comes to feng shui, I guess I respect it. Like if you guys do it, I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I would like to know more, you know, like mm -hmm. removing your mold, changing your name, things like that. I find it very interesting. But personally, I'm not yeah. uh, an advocate for it myself. Yeah. So. Not really la. Yeah. That's why the culture, I guess, is just uh, for Chinese New Year is just being together with my family yeah. and the gathering. That's nice. Yeah. So you just listen just to just listen yes, and for that's the it. Heck this of is going to <laughs> right? Okay. So right now, let's talk about your career path and all that. Have you read out about the uh, Year of the Ox? What it brings, you know, to you this year? I think it's not very good because I'm a rabbit. Mm -hmm. I think it's not really good. Yeah. Uh, Are you wired la? Why uh? uh. And then susah lah. <laughs> but <laughs> but I but like uh, like I believe like what uh, you know uh, we, it's all about hard work. Mm -hmm. I, I always believe it's ninety nine percent hard work and one percent luck lah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's not very good for rabbit. Uh, I briefly read through what uh, Joey Yap said. It, there's a lot of like uh, you know it? clashing stars right. uh, and unauspicious things and I have to put this and put that and put that buy a few stuff then your luck will change <laughs> uh, but I, I mean I, I I I read but I'm not affected by it even okay. if you yeah. tell me my luck this year is bad I'm not affected I just listen and I find it interesting mm -hmm. those things that I can do like clean my certain area of my house that one I will do within my control I will do it if beyond my control I will just let it be mm. so it's more yeah. like a word of caution for you right yeah. ah. but it will not affect me uh, until I cannot sleep or I must do it I'm uh -huh. not, like that. not until that extreme I see I like how it moves into this point Zoe where yeah. you just try to absorb what's good yeah yeah. about the negative side yeah, exactly exactly right? so I'm um, actually curious for you as well you actually started your own business for this year. Correct. Yeah, my so new Nicole clothing. Claire. My new clothing line, sorry. It's a mommy and me uh, clothing brand. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I'm all decked out. Okay. It, it's making its TV debut. Wow. <laughs> Guys, Today, so cool. there's Nicole, Nicole and Claire, Claire on the show. <laughs> yes, um, so I actually uh, planned for it last year, but mm -hmm. you know, 2020 it has been very difficult for everybody. Yeah. Myself as well, very affected by it. So a lot of delays, things like that. So we had to push it to this year. Mm -hmm. um, so I was very happy that we even got it out because it's been my dream ever since I was a young kid. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to be a fashion designer. I even cut the clothes of my Barbie doll just to you know make it sleeveless, to make it shorter. So I <laughs> alang alang want to be a designer back then. So it's very it's very um, it's been a steep learning curve. I'm sure you also know. You're still yeah, a young fashion. kid. You're still a young kid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was a young kid, I wanted to be a fashion designer. You are still a young kid. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go out for a drink. Yeah. You probably talk, you know, off camera, the world is yeah. not having a business. But yes. you see, um, you just mentioned that there was that temporary um, halt or stop in whatever that you were doing. Yeah. Uh, did you think that that particular time frame that mm -hmm. when you were off actually helped you? Oh, Definitely. Like I think it taught me a lot about patience, mm -hmm. about being, um, about letting go of things that you cannot control. Mm -hmm. So these are the things that you just can't mm -hmm. because it, you it's beyond your capacity. So I think 2020 really taught me from from you know my postponed wedding things mm -hmm. like that. It really taught me to just let go and just. Mm. Be in peace and trust the process. Right. Yeah. That's a very nice one. Okay. Mm. How about you, Ivan? Can you mention you also consulted, you know, your feng shui master uh, for your <laughs> business and all that. Um, are you planning to start up any business this year or how is it uh, work-wise for you? Mm -hmm. So, I have my own brand, mm -hmm. fashion brand, and launched it last year, September, so you can find it on Lazada Mall. My flagship store is on the, on the platform. And this month, I have a new drama coming out. Wow. AI yes. in Love. So this is my first Malay speaking role. Ooh. Wow! It has, it has, I actually, I quit this industry for more than four years. Mm -hmm. So I'm, it's out of my expectation when I got the call from 
u n i TV Drama RTM u n i Drama TV RTM. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got the offer, so I'm so surprised that they are looking for me. Mm-hmm. So I'm very want to say thank you to the EP producer director giving this opportunity to contribute in this, and I. They are so amazing, you know the crew yeah. and cast. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I hope you guys can watch it on TV two, TV one, TV okay. Is it aired already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. cool. So if you miss out, never mind. You can like, I, I not sure. Is it will show on MyClick our platform VOD? Platform. Yeah, you guys I can actually go and would, yeah. search it on MyClick. Uh, just search it. And what's the title of the drama again? AI in love. AI in love. Mm-hmm. It's simple. It's a love story. That. And right. the you can see that. Because we use the technology of CGI mm-hmm. and animation as a bridge to combine scene to scene. Okay. Because due to the pandemic, we have to follow the SOP. We have to minimize the numbers mm-hmm. of cast and crew. Mm-hmm. So we come up with this idea. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's quite refreshing. Also, yes. correct lah. Artificial intelligence in yes. Mm. Right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So, um, well, briefly before we go, though, um, if there's something that you wish that would happen this year for Chinese New Year, besides the reunion, besides having your friends mm. over, what is that one thing that can take off of Chinese New Year this year, and compared to last year, and still, uh, still are very determined that the feeling and the true essential meaning of Chinese New Year is still there. Okay, I wish there's no no more COVID. <laughs> yeah, if, I, if there's something I can wish for this Chinese year, COVID goodbye, okay. gone. Let's all pray. <laughs> I pray to God every day. Please, no COVID. Yes, I think as well as everyone in the entire world yeah, yeah. is wishing the same, except for New Zealand. New Zealand is. COVID free. I'm COVID free and happy in a bar right now. Yeah, even then as well, New Zealand is also going through a tough time. I mean, everybody's yeah. going through yeah, a tough very, time. Yeah, very, very tough time. At the end of the day, it's about how you yourself as an individual mm-hmm. help to curb the spread of COVID-19. Exactly, that's exactly. Thing. Mm-hmm. So how about you, Chris? What do you wish for this year? I think um, people should still celebrate. Mm-hmm. Even though you know you're confined in your own homes, but there's always a reason to celebrate. Uh, that's why we also launched our collection. It's called We Celebrate Blank, mm-hmm. so we can celebrate anything like your child's first steps. Maybe during Chinese New Year, your child want to take their first steps. Mm-hmm. We celebrate the full love, moon. full moon, um, courage, hope, things like that. So I still wish for people to have that. Mm-hmm. The the semangat lah to mm-hmm. celebrate because everything is worth celebrating. Oh, yeah. This is a nice one too. Yeah. <laughs> very, very. Really I nice. emo. <laughs> <laughs> Not already. That's not the plan. Not already. <laughs> I mean, what about you? I just hope people you can like the hashtag kita jaga kita. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope that Malaysia is COVID free. One okay, is maybe this May or what? I don't know because the the vaccine, you know. Mm-hmm. So the most important most important thing is uh, take care yourself. Okay. Yeah. Be safe. Yeah. 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 Uh, I even believe in you know curbing the spread is by taking care of himself. Right? Yeah, indeed. And I think yeah. you should take care of yourself as well, right? So we want to thank again one more time to our guests, Ivan, Chris, and also Christy. Uh, we didn't talk about your business a little bit, but you guys can check her out. Her shoes are amazing. Her bags are amazing. Um, please do check out uh, Chris's new brand as well, as well as Ivan, the little fashion designer here. Um, and guys, don't forget to, of course, keep your physical distance whenever uh, you guys are going out. Uh, if you are actually do celebrating with your family and friends. You know those are nearby. Um, just wear a mask, sanitize yeah. your hands all the time, and just you know it's okay. You can get the ampau via QR code. From this, from this, get the ampau. Exactly. So we're gonna go for a quick break, mm-hmm. but when we come back, we're wow, we've got some yes. really cool stuff for you. It's written right here, but I'm not gonna tell you what. <laughs> just wait for it right here on Fresh Brew.